Hey guys, um, today we're doing a little bit of a change of pace. Um, today we're going to be talking about our wedding and the different things we're working on to get ready for it. Okay, so breakfast has been basically a huge deal in our relationship to the point where it's basically the only thing I know how to cook. I can eat breakfast for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And Alex even proposed to me with breakfast in bed. Um, so our whole wedding theme is brunch. Uh, we're gonna have all sorts of breakfast food, coffee, mimosas. We're trying to tie in the breakfast theme wherever we can. So like our save the dates, invites, and programs will all be like more of a newspaper look and feel. And then we're doing the centerpieces all handmade because we're too cheap for real flowers and we decided to use wooden flowers <clears throat> now <clears throat> this is I don't know if you can see that you can <laughs> this is the centerpiece as we have it now and we decided to fill spin around there's a little pumpkin space in the camera oh. yeah it's in October so we're using a fall pumpkin as well but I don't know if you could see you can. Here, um, we're using coffee beans to fill up the vases, which I'm super excited about because it smells amazing. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, so these wooden flowers um, I got from two different companies. One, the shipping is takes months. The other is a little bit faster, and they both have about the same amount of deals. And they come like this, plain white. Focus. They're plain white wooden flowers. So what you do is you mix paint with some hot water and then you there you go. And then you <laughs> dip it in and dye basically each flower. So this is the color scheme. Later, no, no. Get away from my coffee. So basically we dyed each of these flowers um, and then we added in the eucalyptus. Yep. Now this, we're not sure how much money it did save us. Um, we basically signed up for the emails and waited every time they had like a big buy one get one free. We waited for those deals because we've been engaged since 2017 and we have time. <laughs> But we are quickly running out now. <laughs> so Alex's twin is actually, he's got like one of those CNC mills and he's making all of our numbers. A one is gonna go with this for the table numbers, but we're gonna stain this to be the same color as the coffee beans so it looks a little bit more. Uniform. Yeah. But yeah, and there's also, we got um, the red wheatgrass. I just stuck in here too, cause I wanted, red I want to be our, our color pop. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then that's going to go on a silver plate. A charger. What? These plates are called chargers. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to put the eucalyptus all around the plate. Um, for boutonnieres, we are... I had the girls come over and we made a bunch of the boutonnieres and... I'm not sure how Alex feels about them. I'm fine with them, I just thought they were a little thick. They originally came with this flower I showed you earlier, a huge flower, which would be a lot. Just chill out. <laughs> it was pretty big. So we, these are kits we got from that website too. Um, but this is how the boutonniere ended up looking. Um, Basically, it was like burlap for the leaf in the background, and then yeah. like a filler, and then baby's breath, and then we used the smaller rose, um, and then twine. But Alex has not picked out his suits, so we're not really sure if this is actually going to work. I mean, I found a suit I like, I just don't have like a thousand dollars. Or your groomsmen don't have yeah, I'm not asking my groomsmen to spend a thousand dollars. So yeah. That's basically 
what we have so far. We're doing all the bouquets, which I'm so dreading. This is actually a bigger task than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Because uh, I have to dye every single flower and make sure it's the right color and sort through the flowers because I'll show you once we get up the box of flowers that these all came in. And my um, best man, I found out, actually took a floral arrangement class in college and he showed us a few things and it looks very tedious. It looks a lot better than what I was trying to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Dan. I did. <laughs> um, so next we should talk about is our guest book. Yeah, so Ashley's dad helped me out with this. Um, we aren't doing a traditional guest book because I am not a big fan of books. Yeah, they normally sit on our shelves and then we never see it again. So we found this idea on Etsy. On Etsy. Um, and we modified it a little bit to be more of what we wanted. Um, and then it's something we're going to be able to put on our wall and kind of hang up and it's going to look nice. Um, and another big part of our relationship is national parks and hiking and things like that. Mountains. Mountains. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, I made this with the help of Ashley's dad. This is chalkboard paint and we're going to get these white pin markers and the guests are going to write their names in the black in the black area um and then it's just gonna be like mr and mrs and then the date. established date yeah. um <laughs> on the mountain part and so it actually turned out way better than i thought it would okay. and there's a ton of places around the house we think it would look really nice mm -hmm. and we just have to agree on it yes yes and I'm not made of rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> or I'm just gonna hang it up because I'm gonna end up hanging it up. Okay. <laughs> so I think this does make me nervous because you always get like that one person that doesn't really follow directions. So. Oh, right. To make sure that no one writes on the mountain part, we're gonna use probably wax paper yeah, and probably. cover the mountain and like tape it down and like write do not remove, do not write on mountains like everywhere. Yep. Because the second one person writes on this mountain, everyone's gonna write on the mountain. No, it's trash. <laughs> oh, if someone like, writes, I, no, it's not. If someone writes on the mountain, I'm just gonna sand it down mm. and then restain it. It's not gonna look as new, but. Um, no, it would. It would really. Yeah, no, it would be. It annoying. would really suck, but. Yeah. Um, so we're going to try and make sure we do take all preventative measures to make sure no one writes on this mountain part. Mm -hmm. um, and that they're only writing in the black sky. Yeah. So I think this is going to turn out really cool. I'm really excited about it. Yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I was a little nervous when we were putting it together, but then... Gizmo is drinking water right now. I don't know if you guys can hear it. He's so loud. Yeah. <laughs> Gizmo! Easy. Um, but yeah, that's what we've been working on. Um, as far as the wedding goes, it's mostly stuff we're gonna do ourselves. So in between working on the house and the homestead stuff, um, this is what we've been doing. Uh, basically after October, we're gonna have a nice break. <laughs> I cannot wait <laughs> until after October. No. Um, but yeah, I think the last big things we need to do, my suit and the groomsmen's suits. Yeah, all the suits. Bridesmaid dresses are ordered. I think they yeah. should have them now. I think all your stuff is done. We need, ring. I okay, need my ring. The wedding playlist. So we're also gonna do like a 90s throwback. Like music. I'm super excited about. If you have any good um, song choices that you'd recommend, please post and then that will help us with our playlist making. Mm -hmm. Alex still needs a mom and son dance song. Oh yeah. And then we need like a an exit song. Um, and a song to play while the cake is cutting. Oh my god, we need a cake. <laughs> oh my god, we do. <laughs> um, so I guess should I show you the mess that is our 
Fenty dining room. So depending on the company you choose, I can put the link to both of these down below. One of them came in this plastic, um, but this is just basically a natural raw mixture of flowers, like all different sorts of flowers. Um, and then uh, I got them all mixed up, but the other just came in like this box, this huge box. Um, it's not even in a bag, just open. Not in a bag, but none of the flowers are damaged or anything, but um, the hardest part for me was I had to go through and sort flowers by type. Yeah, the flowers by type and I just used a Ziploc bag to um, put all of the same flowers so I didn't have to worry about doing it when the paint was still wet. Um, but yeah, this is our crafting table right now. There's Sir William in the background. Um, but yeah, we have everything. These are all the dyed flowers so far and then I put some in the vase over there with the pumpkins that we're using. So here's where we need your help. If you know of any good crafting things with like the solo wood flowers, let us know. Any good videos, tag them below. If you have any good 90 song recommendations that we should play at our wedding, let us know. Um, if you like the centerpieces or think we should do anything differently and have different suggestions, let us know about that too. Um, if there's any other brunch themed thing we could incorporate in our wedding that you think would be really cool, let us know too. I think it'd be kind of cool to get people's suggestions and whatnot. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I'd be very appreciative. Alright, uh, yeah, go ahead, like, subscribe, um, hit the bell icon. I'm gonna say it's here. I'm in bandits here. Um, <laughs> otherwise, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you like these videos. Thanks. Okay, bye.